Okay, this is the real quote derivative question. We are going to find the nth derivative of x times e to the x. And hopefully, we can have a nice pattern, right? Otherwise, this wouldn't be a nice equation. But anyway, x times e to the x, remember this is the product of two functions. So in order to find the derivative, we have to use the product rule. So let's go ahead and do the first one. y prime. And the product rule says we are going to first keep the first function, which is x, and then multiply by the derivative of the second. And we are going to multiply by the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And then we add the second function, which is e to the x, and then multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is just 1. So this is what we have. However, notice that we have e to the x in both terms right here, right? So that means we can factor it out. And in fact, let me do it this way. Let me actually first put on parentheses and let me throw in the x and the 1 inside. And this is x plus 1. And then I will factor out the e to the x and put that at the end right here. So that's e to the x right here. And this right here is our first derivative. And the usual strategy of doing the nth derivative is that we will just find the first few derivatives and seriously, hopefully, <laughs> there's a nice pattern for this. So we proceed. Here is going to be the second derivative. Let me just write down y double prime. And of course, we can just look at this form for the first derivative and go ahead and do the product rule again. This right here, I will look at this as my first function times e to the x as my second function. So I will keep the first, which is x plus 1, times the derivative of the second, which is still e to the x, and then plus the second function, which is e to the x, and then times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x plus 1 is just 1, because the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 1 is 0, so we multiply by 1, like this. So this is right here is it. And notice that, <laughs> what happens? Both of them have the e to the x. So we can factor it out again, right? And of course, let's go ahead and open the parentheses first. And I will put down the e to the x at the end like this. And keep in mind, we are going to throw in this right here, which is x plus 1. And then we are going to add this. So we are going to add another one like this. And you see that we have x plus 2, right, in the first parentheses like this, and then we have the e to the x. And this right here is the second derivative, x plus 2 times e to the x. And can you guess what's the third derivative going to be? Maybe x plus 3, right, and then times e to the x. Well, let me just do it one more time with you guys. This is the third derivative, aka the jerk, but you know, it's okay. Anyway, product rule in action again. I will once again take this as my first function and times e to the x as my second. So the first function is just x plus 2 times the derivative of second, which is e to the x. And then we add the second function, which is e to the x times the derivative of the first. Derivative of x plus 2 is just 1, similar reason like earlier. So this is what we have. And again, we have e to the x in common, right? So this is really nice. We are going to factor that out again and put it in the end. So open the big parentheses. e to the x goes here. And then this is x plus 2. And then plus another one. So it's like that. And for the first parentheses, we do end up with x plus 3. And then e to the x. So as you can see, we do have a nice pattern, isn't it? And I will just put on dot, dot, dot. And you can do it as many times as you would like. I welcome you guys to do that. But I will tell you guys, finally, you see that y, and then we open uh, parentheses and put down n. And this right here, usually it's a way to indicate the nth derivative. So let me just write it down for you guys. This is notation for the nth derivative of the function that we were talking about. And of course, you see that we can just have x plus whatever you know, the end is, because this right here is technically 3, right? The third derivative, and we have x plus 3. So if this is n, 
let me just indicate that if this is n, then this right here will just be x plus n in the first parentheses. And then at the end right here, we have e to the x. And this right here is it, the nth derivative of x times e to the x. We don't see nice patterns that often, but you know this is definitely one of them and I like it so much and that's all.